Hello everyone, Mike Barnes here with Asheville Guitar, and this is just a little primer on seventh chords uh, and understanding seventh chords, drop twos, drop threes, drop, uh, drop two and four chords, which are these wider spread chords. But when you have a chord, if you write it out on paper, you stack it one, three, five, seven, like that. So you got the root here, you got the third, you got the fifth, and you got the seventh, right? So those are in order, one, three, five, seven. Now, if you start doing inversions of that chord, going up the neck, you start to run into problems. Because that chord's kind of hard to grab. That's an inversion of that closed voicing chord. So open voicing chords are a guitarist's best friend, right? So and, uh, closed voicing chords on piano are very common, but open voicing chords on guitar are more common because they're easier to grab. So what we have first is we have this chord form right here is a drop three because we've taken the first, like a closed voicing would be that. There's no way to play that really unless you tap that note, right? But if you take this and drop the third note down an octave and then play the seventh here, then you've got a, a manageable chord voicing that's pretty easy to, to grab. All right, so this is what they call a drop three because we're dropping the third note from the top of that, that arpeggio or that closed voicing form. So that's a drop three. There's another drop three for the fifth string root that looks like this. And that's a major seven also, right? Now you have drop two chord forms that take this, the, uh, the second note from the top. So like, for instance, if we have this chord here, we do the arpeggio backwards, and we drop that second note from the top, which in this case is the C, we drop it down to that C, and then we play the rest of those chord tones, you have a C major seven. That's a drop two C major seven. And then this is a drop two F major seven. This is a drop two G major seven, right? Before we had a drop three like this, this is a drop two. And what's good to do with these, these voicings is find all the diatonic seventh chords in, in your different keys. So if we do G, you have G major seven, A minor seven, B minor seven, C major seven, D seven, D dominant seven, E minor 7, F sharp minor 7 flat 5, back to G major 7 here, right? So, and those are all drop 3 chord forms, right, with the 6 string group. Now if we take this middle middle group, the 5, 4, 3, 2 string group, those are drop 2 because we had the second note from the top and we dropped it down. That's the second note, that's C, we drop it down an octave. There's your, uh, there's your 7th of the, of the chord, right, that's the B. And then there's the, uh, the the G right there. That's the fifth of this C chord, right? So the way that chord's voiced is you get the, the root, the fifth, the seventh, and the thirds on top. It's important to know what chords you have under your fingers, right? So if we take that, that uh, drop two chord form for C, and we follow those chords diatonically up the scale, we have C major seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, F major 7, G7, seven, dominant 7, A minor 7, B minor 7, flat 5, back to C major 7. Now we can do another set of drop 2s for the 4, 3, 2, 1 string group, right? So this is 4, 3, 2, 1, right? So we take that, that second note, if we take that arpeggio backwards from that top note that we're playing here, which is an A, right? We take that uh, second note from the top, this F, and drop it down and put it in the root. Then it gives us an F major seven. And that's a drop two chord form. Then here's another, here's the second, second chord in the sequence of diatonic chords in the key of F major. So you got F major seven, G minor seven, A minor seven, B flat major seven, C seven, right? D minor seven. E minor 7 flat 5. Now we're back to F major 7 again, right? So that's a, a real quick um, overview of basic garden variety chords that you should become familiar with. 
Now there's also other wider voicings like this. That's a drop two and four, because from the top, we drop that second note, and the fourth note, both of those down, we wind up with this voicing. So that's a drop two and four. Here's another drop two and four. And those are nice voicings to use too, right? So you can explore these different voicings uh, and also increase your chord vocabulary. And uh, I appreciate you watching. I hope you got something out of this. And I will see you next time. Have a great day.